Hey guys, we're back. This time around we're at Gat Skogen 2019. Uh, this weekend will be a Super 3 contest and we just teamed up with two of our friends. And uh, This time we have Ug Helge Ugland from last year's team. He's driving his E36 out front as usual. He's a super solid guy and has a good line. Uh, after that uh, we have Alexander Fröding from Black Valley Drift Squad with his S14 with S15 conversion. Uh, he's going in the middle and I'm going in the chase position. So really excited, we think we have a solid team and I think that we might have the team that could take Team Toyota down. Uh, we're heading out for practice, so uh, wish us luck. Up, so I smashed my left front into his dashboard in the rear, so we exploded the left rim. And uh, now we need a new tie rod and a uh, front rim, so it's an easy fix. track and our first run we managed to hit each other. Uh, I did a little bit of a misjudgment uh, of Alexander's speed and he did a little bit of a laggy transition so I managed to hit his rear right wheel and my left wheel in the front exploded so uh, we lost one wheel, uh, one tie rod and we damaged the lower control arm uniball but uh, we managed to keep it together somewhat so we changed the rim and uh, went along with some of the glitchiness in the Unibomba. Um, overall, we did two more laps after that. Uh, the first lap was uh, a bit of a twitchy transition on the small straightaway, but otherwise we felt that we could have a good flow through the, through the long sweeper. But uh, for the next run, we did, uh, decided to uh, reduce the angle a bit on the small straight, and that worked out a lot better. But uh, uh, Helge's tires went out a bit on the end, so that meant, uh, meant that we couldn't make a perfect end to this, this last run. But uh, we feel pretty confident anyways, I think we have a solid foundation. So now we're going to prep the car and uh, go out for qualification. So uh, wish us luck, uh, hopefully it goes well. So we wanted to do a quick walkthrough of the specs of our drifting simulator. First off we have a custom made steel frame from Strömbes uh, Rör och Svets. They also did uh, supply the uh, Fnatic gear for the simulator. Then we have a Sparco Evo 2 seat from Theo Pettersson. A G65 Vortex computer from MSI Gaming. And also a 32 inch uh, curved monitor from MSI. So really stoked about that. We're gonna show you more in depth in the future.
for a small update from the weekend. Uh, yesterday we had qualifying with uh, Team Black Loveland and uh, we managed to snatch a fourth place in qualifying. That's really good considering it's 31 teams and 93 drivers, so really stoked about that. Uh, we just had our first session for the morning. Uh, we went out with the guys and uh, had uh, two practice runs with uh, Super 3. Uh, Alex had a small hit, but nothing too bad, I think. Uh, and uh, uh, we did some uh, awesome entries uh, that uh, Joachim managed to uh, catch with the camera. So overall, an awesome start today. And now we're gonna go out the car a bit and uh, head out for some more sessions. So it's a great weekend so far. Alexander Fröding, Morten Stönberg. The first current of ah, start on. Fuck it. So that's a wrap for Friday. Uh, we just came in from uh, Breisladen top 12. Unfortunately, we didn't get through to top six. Uh, in our run, we had some uh, issues on setting up in the first corner. Uh, so we had the, one of the cars sliding out a bit and uh, then uh, I had to do a really early transition and kind of do a burnout just to reach the, the entry into the big corner. And uh, that meant I picked up a lot of speed coming through the smoke. And uh, when I passed out through the smoke, I actually hit uh, Alexander's rear wheel again so that was it for us this uh, Super 3 competition but we still had a blast and we were really happy about qualifying 4 with uh, that amount of uh, competition so uh, now we're gonna have a photo shoot and a feature with the Gottfield magazine and uh, then we're gonna do a taco evening on Friday and then we're gonna go do some more drifting tomorrow so the uh, weekend isn't over, far from over, and tomorrow we have race loud uh, competition as well, so hopefully we do good in qualifying. So, uh, stay tuned. Second pass of the day, and uh, unfortunately when we went out we had a bit of a yellow flag situation, but when we tried to do an entry by Joachim, we unfortunately uh, started our diff, so we knew the diff was a bit hurt after the crash at Mantorp, but uh, we didn't think it would blow up like this, and so thankfully uh, Henrik Isaksson had one spare with him, so uh, the guys are right now uh, putting the new one in and trying to build it together, because we have a bit of a special in, uh, input shaft, but um, yeah, it seems like it's gonna be good, so uh, hopefully we can get uh, Richard to uh, ride along, so yeah, let the guy work and uh, hopefully we get on track soon. Sunday, uh, not the end we wanted for sure. Uh, we did a big entry on the main straight and uh, managed to hit the inside of the curb there uh, while going backwards. So it uh, got stuck in the lower control arm and snapped the complete suspension off. So really bad. Uh, that really sucks. But the worst part is that exactly when this happened, it seems like the engine went let go or something inside the engine because it's. Uh, in the video, if you check it, you can hear the engine start sounding bad exactly after we hit the curb. So, hopefully, it's nothing major, but it sounds really bad. So, we will try to find out as uh, soon as possible. So, yeah, that wraps up Gotta Be. 
Thank you everyone who made this weekend awesome and uh, we will be back as usual. This is this will not stop us. So yeah.